sights to see. Roll. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel, The Fire Experience. I know I was gone for a while, but I'm gonna try and put some more videos these days. So, welcome back to my channel and today we are gonna relive India Gate, which is primarily in New Delhi, which is the capital of India. And since I was born there, I would love to cover it. Now, before we move ahead and cover the Delhi's most iconic landmark, the India Gate, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon. And those who are already subscribed, keep watching my videos for new content. So standing tall at 42 meters, the India Gate is actually a war memorial, but not just a war memorial. It's a symbol of India's pride and significant piece of India's history. So let's deep dive into the monument, which is so special. So India Gate has been designed by Sir Edward Slutens. Uh, which is a majestic structure and was built in the memorial of the Indian soldiers who actually died and participated in World War One. Yes, you might not know that India also participated in the World War One, but that was under the British rule. Now this monument design is inspired by the Ark of Constantine in Rome, which actually blends the Western culture and with a touch of Indian element. So you can see the area around India Gate is always vibrant, a lot of locals and tourists alike enjoying the lawns and historic ambience and it's even a popular spot for evening strolls, picnic and photography. Another thing to note about is uh, the official name of this path is Karthavipath earlier which was Rajpath and they have recently changed it so this is a similar street which actually links to the india gate the parliament and various you know constitutional and historical monuments A beautiful evening here in India and you can see a lot of people have gathered in and around and if you can see I'm trying to zoom in it's probably the Parliament House and then right behind me is the India Gate which is basically a war memorial but has more significance than that So this is a depiction of the pathway which actually starts from I think uh, the parliament house and then it, it ends up to in here. Uh, probably this map dictates you you know what sort of monuments are in and around. So we have got uh, you know like Yodha Stal, Amar Jawan Jyoti which has been actually moved and then it basically tells all the constitutional monuments or historical monuments and that's the hexagon we have just crossed uh, where we parked our car and started moving to the India Gate. So in and around India Gate you have got uh, a lot of you know historic in information basically all the pictures and details but w so the India Gate basically has an inscription of over 13,000 soldiers uh, with detailed like inscriptions which reflect the craftsmanship and then this is basically of those sol soldiers who participated in the World War One and lately a lot of other soldiers have been added over time Just waiting on you and me, so Look 
as you can see on the screen there, there are a lot of historical information available while you walk towards the India gate um, today like today for our exploration just to let you know if you're planning to visit make sure you take your time and enjoy the sights and sounds around the monument and it is a place that captures the essence of New Delhi and the spirit of India So when you be visiting India Gate, there are a lot of other things you can watch there. So first is India Gate, and then you will have the statue of uh, Subhash Chandra Bose, who is another f major freedom fighter. And then you also have got the Amar Jawan Jyoti, which is basically a flame of immortal soldiers. This flame was uh, initially with this India Gate, but lately they moved it to a separate location near India Gate. So you can, you know, just uh, go ahead and walk through all of them. As I explained to you, uh, that's the name of all the soldiers inscripted like on the monument. This is a beautiful view of India Gate from New Delhi, India, uh, which is, lies in the capital. Now we are heading to the other part of the campus as I told you. So that was India Gate and now we are heading to uh, that's called the National War Memorial. So that's the Netaji Shabash Chandra Bose, the, another major freedom fighter in India. The statue is right there. And you could see a beautiful glimpse of India Gate behind it and on the left a beautiful sunset. Now once we move forward, we are heading to the Amar Jawan Jyoti. Now this is actually a flame and it's called the flame of the immortal soldiers. It's a structure of black marble and then it is basically erected to come on a rate Indian soldiers who died in the liberation of Bangladesh in 1971. So it was inaugurated in I think around January 26, 1972. And right next to it will be so these are again the names of the soldiers who lost their lives in the war again this makes me really emotional because war is you know always hell we lo lose a lot of people lo lose a lot of life so after this this is again a beautiful view of showcasing the India gate the Subhash statue and the Amar Jod Jawan Jyoti and a beautiful evening Now as you can see on the screen, this is staffed by, uh, I think, the Indian Armed Forces, round the clock, and now they are paying a tribute. Hope you liked today's video um, make sure to subscribe like comment and share so that I can even you know it motivates me to bring you more experiences from all over the world so signing out for today hope you liked today's video have a great day bye bye see you in the next video